let me show you the best camera tips and tricks for the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. So first of all, we are going to start from the photo mode, which is located here. And right now, when you click on this right bottom corner, we can actually find access into the Pro mode. And yes, finally, the Google adds here the Pro mode, so we can adjust the brightness level, shadows, white balance, even we can set the focus, shutter speed, and ISO level. And each, each time you are going to open any of this function, you will get short description, so you will know actually how you can use it. But there's actually great extension that this feature was actually missing from Pixel phones for, for years. Next, when you want to take photos with better resolution, you can go into the left bottom corner, tap on the Pro, and now we can force 50 megapixel mode. So now you can try to take the photo, hold your phone steady, and right now after post-processing, you will be able to find more details on these photos. So for example, when I'm gonna zoom in, zoom in, as you can see, we can find a lot of details, especially right here. And even we can take a look on the lens and the second lens. Next, if you want to take photos with shutter delay, you can for sure do this by selecting three, five, or even 10 seconds. And now on the screen, you will get the countdown and on the back, you'll also find the flashlight that is blinking. Next, we can go into the more settings where we can find other options. By going here, we can find a shortcut for the volume buttons. As the default is actually set for the zoom feature, but you can also use them as a shutter. So now when you click and hold the volume up button, you will smoothly zoom in or smoothly zoom out if you click and hold the volume down button. And you can also switch between the lenses. And what is also really useful, that when you go above 20x, in the right upper corner, we can find short preview uh, where, you where you are exactly. So it's actually easy to navigate with this. So another option that I want to show you, this is the Add Me feature. And if you don't know how it works, all you have to do is just to click on this right bottom corner and here you can find the description. So we can use this when you don't have a tripod or another person to take the photo of you. And this is the example. So someone can take the photo, the frame will be still available, and then you can switch seats, and then the second person will take the photo and it will look like that someone actually take the photo of you. There it is. So you can try it out and now by taking this, this photo, so you can still find a uh, description. So that's quite easy to use. When you go into the video mode, we can find, for example, functions like the slow motion, where we can change the speed of the slow motion. Also, there's the time lapse. And right here, we can also change the speed. And when you go into the settings, uh, we can even force the 4K for the time lapse. And if you wonder about the slow motion, how it works, unfortunately, we can only record slow motion and the full HD. When you go into the video, we can also get the video boost. So when you record 4K video, it will actually cover into the 8K. So it will boost this photo, this video. We can also record videos in the 60 frames per second. And we can turn on the additional stabilization, but it only works when you go for like 4K Full HD below 60 frames per second, because when you go for the 60, it's not working, so we have to get the lower. And yeah, that will be all. Thanks for watching. Right now, please subscribe.